This. Hey, enough intro. Let's dig in. Yes, let's. This is the Cano PC. It's a new Your pro. Engine is set to United Kingdom. Is that right? Yes. Okay, we can begin now. This isn't your ordinary tablet PC for kids. Although it was created for children and classrooms primarily, unlike peers such as the Amazon Kindle Fire or a Google Chromebook, the Cano PC is a proper little Windows 10 based computer that runs grown up applications. It's just one you have to put together yourself. Cano is a British company, perhaps better known for its Harry Potter or Star Wars branded coding kits, but this product was developed in a partnership with Microsoft and as such it's perhaps better thought of as a Surface laptop but for your younglings. It'll cost them, or let's face it, you, $300 or so, but runs full fat Windows 10 on top of an Intel processor and 4GB of RAM. It'll run regular desktop office apps, media tools as well like Spotify or iTunes or even something like Audacity, and naturally, yes, Minecraft. But its unique feature is that it comes only part assembled in the box, so your first experience with the machine involves, well, learning how to put it together. One of the other benefits though to this modular design is that certain components are easy to replace. Cano told me this is in part to help schools reduce waste by letting them more easily swap out the most commonly problematic parts of a computer, namely the battery, the keyboard and the speaker. You know, things you can spill liquid into or have a tantrum on top of. But because this is fundamentally still a real computer, it has standard USB ports, and these can be used for a range of standard PC accessories. Cano, of course, also has a few of its own, and these too, in some instances, can be put together yourself. Now, in my time with the Cano PC, I wasn't blind to some of its downsides when comparing it to classroom rivals. For instance, its screen isn't going to win any awards for resolution or pin sharp contrast when compared to even the cheapest iPad, and its built in speaker isn't a patch on what you would maybe expect of even a low end Chromebook. But that's not really a deal breaker for me because it's still a product that works like kids and teachers will expect thanks to it running regular Windows. There's no need to give up Microsoft Office in favour of say Google Docs, nor adopt Apple or Amazon's tablet ecosystems of mobile first apps. I also like that there's a playfulness to the industrial design that almost no computers have had since the original iMac in all of its many translucent colours at the turn of the millennium, but not to the extent that it ends up feeling like a toy machine for infants. Combined with its price, I think it warrants a description of being like a Microsoft Surface for kids. It even includes the grown-up enthusiastic virtual assistant your parents are used to for no extra charge. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. Hello Cortana. Your Wi Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Great, I'm going to do a video. Use for Quick Take in London, I'm Nate Langson, and I've been technically speaking with the Cano Select PC. The little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. Stay quiet. If you need an assistive screen 